I'm worried about this middle tier, this this commercial, this mid commercial tier, and you know, particularly high rise stuff because that is where the I think I'm the non economist. That's where the drop in the population is going to potentially hit. Um, you know the demand for for units and 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 high rise and that's all that sort of stuff. Um, you, you are absolutely right. There's a lot of angst amongst the commercial sector. Um, some of them will try to get into, you know, use home the home builder grant because it does apply yeah. for all. But I just don't think you can make a a big unit development stack up in the timeframes. But townhouses and you know maybe twenty or thirty units are certainly doable if if the builder, the developer, the developer and builder get on quickly. But to your point about the commercial sector, that is the big worry. Uh, there's a lot of commercial builders uh, chewing their nails, wondering where the next job's coming from. And it's not just the, the mid-tier. These are the big commercial builders as well. The Premier, as you say, the Premier has committed to maintain the capital spend that was announced um, at the end of the mid-year mid-year financial review in December. So that's $52 billion over the next four years. We, I expect, um, expected in July that we'd get an announcement on what the 2021 program is going to look like in the next three years. Uh, I thought it might have been this week because if you look what happened in June and May, the Premier made an announcement. So I'm hoping that it's next week. Uh, it's, we know that it's, it's it, the the that it's all being packaged up. So we know that they're close. Um, we just need the announcement and there are a lot of builders hanging out for that. The, but one of the, and you touched upon it with the, the proportion of work that goes to the civil contractors. And it's something we've been hammering uh, uh, the government on over the last couple of years. It used to be like over 25 years, the split between the civil contractors and the building side of things has been about 77% versus 23%. And uh, that's over 25 years. But if you look, even just look at 2018, 19, and this isn't the government data, this is ABS data, but there was $7.2 billion spent in 18, 19 in Queensland um, by the government. But 83% of that was civil work yeah. and only 17% was public buildings. So compare that to the 77. So the SKUs got out of, out of kilter and we want them to, we don't want to eat the, the lunch of the civil contractors. A lot of them are our members, but we want the tide to come in and they both go up. So we've been pushing the government to ex adopt a benchmark where they commit to spending to that 25 year average, which would push several billion dollars into the public building program. And we think, um, uh, I understand that we might get 12 or $13 billion for 2021, which would be a very good number, so long as we get a fair share of it.